Hi guys, this is Chandeep Chabra. In this video, we're going to speak about um, how do we actually customize shortcut for alignment and we put it in our quick access toolbar. So, uh, in the last case, we I presented a problem where uh, the alignment was not proper in a particular slide and we went to the format tab of uh, PowerPoint to get rid of that problem. Uh, let me just introduce you to the problem here. Okay, this is a, a slide uh, for a company, a, any company. And the company is trying to, uh, um, you know, get some insights about the attrition uh, in financial year 13 versus financial year 12. So let's have a look at their slide. So this is a great wise comparison that uh, how many junior employees have left the company in financial year 12 vis-a-vis -vis the financial year 13, how many uh, middle management employees have left the company and how many senior management employees have left the company. And uh, this is a little infographic here and uh, the insights are mentioned on the right as in the text uh, are, is mentioned on the right. So there is some more. Um, okay, let's have a look. This is tenure wise comparison. So uh, in terms of years, uh, between one to two, two to four, six to eight, you know, which category of the year has seen the maximum attrition. So we have some insights here, we have some insights here, uh, and you know, the source of the data mentioned. Now this looks to me like a good slide, uh, uh, and the color combinations, uh, neat, clean, uh, but uh, there's a slight problem that I've figured out here. If you just have a look at the slide very carefully, uh, especially this portion of the slide, uh, I would not really call this, uh, grade this as a very, very attractive uh, piece of alignment. So if you just have a look that financial year 12 is not aligned with financial year 13 properly. Uh, either they should be properly right aligned or left aligned. Another, another thing that I, that I figured out which is a mistake is that uh, the junior, middle and the senior management are being very well represented by icons uh, but the icons are not in alignment. I hope you uh, acknowledge that point here. And then uh, the labels, uh, junior management, middle management and the senior management are neither top line nor the distances between them is equal. So some, some errors here that I can see and uh, also if you just have a look here the text here is uh, a little more left line than this text so you probably have to get them equal from here and they should not be going uh, towards the left hand side more towards the left hand side, side as compared to this one so let's see what uh, can we do here so in uh, our last session what we did was uh, this problem can be easily be sorted uh, with the format tab uh, with the alignment options that are given to you in the PowerPoint. Let's see what we can do about these. Just going to zoom in here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pick up this uh, piece of text, pick up this piece of text and I, I want to align them to the right or to the left. Uh, so I'm going to go to select them first, both of them together. Go to this format tab. Now this format tab only appears when you actually select any object. So I'm going to go to the Format tab. Then in the Format tab on the right hand side, I will have an option here, Align. And then I can easily left align or right align them. So let's say, let me just left align them. Now uh, it sees a much, much better representation of the two. Now, now the thing is that um, this is fine. I mean, you know, aligning the objects uh, via the format tab so I select the two objects I go to the format tab anything that I want to do I want to left align right align center align top line middle align or anything for that matter I can easily do it from the align tab but uh, what I tend to do is I tend to waste a lot of time select the objects first and then uh, you know if I'm working in the home tab I probably have to go to the format tab and then click on the align tab and then pick up the option so I want this option to be very handy since uh, in PowerPoint you work with a lot of objects, you work with a lot of pictures, graphs. 
So alignment is one of the key factors in PowerPoint that you want to be handy with you all the times. And uh, I certainly don't want this option to be too far away from me. This is like too far away. I'll, I really call this very far away. So I have to figure out an option that uh, is much closer and I can just access uh, these alignment option at just a click of a button probably through a much shorter keyboard shortcut than just uh, going to the align tab in the format align option in the format tab let's see what we can do here so I'm going to introduce you to uh, something called as a quick access toolbar so if you just have a look on the top left corner of your screen this toolbar right here this is called as a quick access toolbar so um, what happens in a quick access toolbar is that they have standard options available so if you've not customized this quick access toolbar so you'll have four options available so I have a slide on that let me kind of get you to that slide okay so in the quick access toolbar we have four options available to us which is a save an undo a redo and start slide from the beginning so uh, this is a save button this is the undo this is the redo and uh, this is uh, the start slide from the beginning now I don't actually find any utility of these uh, uh, tools options uh, placed here when we have a specific shortcut with us to access these uh, tools anytime that we want to so if you want to save your file a uh, much faster much shorter way to do to save in your file is control s control save control s and if you want to undo your action you can press control z if you want to redo your action you can press control y to redo your action if you want to start your slide from the beginning you can press the f5 key on the keyboard um, so i don't actually have a lot of utility uh, with these options lying here on my quick access toolbar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize it to the quick access toolbar with my set of uh, tools that I use more, more often in PowerPoint. So those tools are shapes, uh, the ungroup option and the align objects option. Let's see how we can do that and then we're going to discuss the shortcuts for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this drop down this drop down here and as soon as I take my mouse on top on top of this arrow and uh, it's, it's just going to give me a message that do I want to customize my quick access toolbar so yes I want to customize my quick access toolbar I'm going to click here and I'm going to say more commands okay the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off my my uh, quick access toolbar because I don't want to clutter my quick access toolbar with the uh, unnecessary tools that I already have a shortcut for so I'm just going to say remove uh, click on the option and just say remove click on the option remove remove and remove okay gone now uh, the first thing that I said was uh, you know we're going, to, uh, we're going to have three things we're going to have a shapes we're going to have uh, on the ungroup option we're going to have aligned objects so let me just figure out the where are they so if you uh, this is the place where I'm going to drop it. This is the place where I'm going to find it. These are popular commands. Not very sure that if I'm going to find uh, the, the options that I want in the popular commands. So I better choose all commands. All commands here. Okay. Now um, all the all the options are available here. So the first one that I wanted was uh, shapes. So I'm going to click anywhere here and press the s key on my keyboard that is going to give me you know get me to the place where uh, all the names from s start and i want shapes so i'm just going to drag down and find something called as uh, shapes okay uh, okay you have a look shapes here yeah. So select the one which has an icon on the left. Okay, this is your key. So you may be working on a PowerPoint which is different than mine. Maybe working on 2007 or 2010 or probably 2013. So uh, your key to selecting the right option is this. So it should have an, a little icon on the left. Okay, this is the icon. 
and uh, so I'm going to select this and say add here so the first thing that I add is shapes the second thing that I wanted to add was ungroup option okay so I'm going to say now go to anywhere and select and just press the U on the on the keyboard it's going to take me to the place where the options from the U starts so I'm going to choose the ungroup and say add so the second thing that I have added is ungroup now I'm going to go to the most important is align objects All right. okay so align I'm just going to press A for align okay align objects okay so you have uh, options here uh, align bottom align center align left align middle align right align top I would not recommend you to individually go here and then uh, select them and put it here but I would want you to pick up this option align objects which has an icon to the left and a little arrow to the right that means this is like a drop down uh, we'll see that how this drop down works but the arrow on the right actually means that this is a drop down so I'm going to select this option and put it here and uh, say OK so I have shapes which is again a drop down I have ungroup and the third option is align objects I'm going to say OK here and just like that if you have a look that I have three options available the first one is shapes the second one is align object and the ungroup uh, option and the third one is align objects let's see we, let's see how we can get uh, you know get to our problem with uh, the customization of quick access tool by that we have made so now if I go back to that slide this slide where I had the problem I'm going to zoom in to this area a little more yeah much better okay I'm going to disrupt this a bit uh, probably put it here okay now this is not aligned like it was before so now I have to quickly put this slide into alignment uh, proper alignment all the things that we discussed the first thing was this should be in left alignment to this all of the labels for the icons should be in top alignment with equal spacing in between and all the icons should also be properly aligned with uh, equal spacing in between and uh, we also had text uh, this text should be aligned to this text on the left hand side so let's see how we can do this okay so I'm gonna pick up this one first now if you have a look that uh, we have the customize option available to us here now what I'm gonna do is press the alt key once on my keyboard after I've selected the two objects that I want to align alt key once on the keyboard okay now as soon as I hold the alt key once and leave it make sure I leave it uh, what happens is that uh, my working area is no more activated and my menu bar gets activated you see that F H N G these are all shortcuts that you can use to go inside these tabs okay now all I have to do is if I have if I want to align these objects to the left I just have to press the third key so the, the first key that I pressed was Alt. I left it. Then I now I will press the three three key on the keyboard, and it's going to pull down uh, and drop down a, a a dialog box, not a dialog box, but a drop down actually. And you can pick up any option in here. So uh, let's say I want to left align. So for left align, you have a further shortcut called L. You see that L. So I'm going to press the L. And just like that, these options, these two objects are left aligned. Okay. Now let's see if we, what we can do with these. So now I remember that my, if I want to align anything on on my slide, all I have to do is select these the the, the objects that I want to align, and um, press the Alt key once, leave it. Press the three key, which takes me to the drop down for the alignment option, and then now I have to align them on the top so I have an option called align top but instead of taking my mouse and then probably clicking it here I will press the T on the keyboard or C T okay. now these, these are easily 
compliance with uh, each other. Now I want to also make sure that the distance between these two and these two is equal. So I have to distribute these objects equally. So I will again go off screen to take me to the drop down. Now I want to distribute these objects equally. I will choose the option distribute horizontally, which is represented by the key H. So off screen H is going to easily distribute the objects. Picking up the next one, I want to align them on the top. I know Alt 3 is going to take me to the alignment drop down. Now this is created. And the C on the keyboard is going to take me to the top alignment option. So Alt 3 and the top key on the top. Perfect. Now take a look at this now. It looks properly aligned. Much uh, give me it gives me a much uh, better view of how it looks like. The other thing that I want to you know correctly position is this. Okay, so I want these two to be aligned to the left. Okay. So I will select these two objects. These are text objects. And now I know the shortcut key. This is Alt 3L for left aligning. Alt 3 L for left aligning. So over a period of time what is going to happen is that you will quickly remember the the shortcuts so alt 3 l for left align c for center r for right t for top m for middle b for bottom actually they are pretty simple so uh, they start uh, with the initials of the action key so let's say if you want a top line the, the keyboard shortcut is going to be alt 3 t so top is the action t is the initial and that's how the shortcut is made alt 3 t um, now, the other two uh, options that we have added to our uh, quick access toolbar also help us. So let's say if, if a couple of your uh, objects are grouped, so let's say this chart is grouped, I want to quickly ungroup it. The option available to me is a right click and then I group and then here is the ungroup option available. So I can actually press Alt 2 which is the second key to ungroup the option Alt 2. And just like that, all the bar, all the pieces uh, are actually ungrouped. So I'm going to press Alt 2, and if you just see that uh, the chart is ungrouped from the from the group, the uh, heading is ungrouped, the ears ungrouped, and everything else is ungrouped. I'm going to press Control Z, which was the shortcut key for undoing. So Control Z, and we're kind of grouping it back. Now my slide is neat and nice and if I just kind of take a look at this slide, uh, it gives me a very good view. So you see that proper neat positioning of the icons with the ear that they are representing with the uh, title of the icon and then neat and nice graph with the, the text appearing properly. So um, the alignment options can actually be, you know, um, positioned in the quick access toolbar. Um, just to kind of uh, summarize, we had uh, these four options initially. Uh, we kind of know the shortcuts for them, so we're going to replace them with these shortcuts. We will put shapes, we'll put ungroup option, and we'll put alignment options. So uh, shapes is going to open the shapes for you, and you can pick up any shapes to draw anything in your slide. The ungroup option is going to actually ungroup the objects, and the alignment option is going to give you a drop down to pick up any alignment options that you would want to choose in your slide. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this video was useful to you and uh, it will help you gain more speed with PowerPoint. And if you want to watch uh, more videos on these, stay tuned to our channel, Goodly. Thank you very much and do take care of yourselves.